For millions of Americans suffering from peripheral artery disease, or PAD, debilitating leg pain is an everyday burden. But as Rod Starnes shows in our cover story, a new surgical system is proving that diamonds can be a patient's best friend. Dr. Patricio Ilabaca, a cardiovascular surgeon at Baptist Memorial Hospital Memphis, is preparing for yet another potentially life-altering procedure. Dr. Ilabaca has seen the devastating effects of peripheral artery disease, or PAD. It's caused by atherosclerosis, a process in which plaque builds up in an artery, blocking blood flow to the legs, feet, and toes. You first start having pain as you exercise or walk. Then you have a second stage, which is rest pain. And the rest pain is an indication of more progressive disease, more advanced disease, because you hurt without even exercising. And then you get tissue loss, that is ulcerations, infection of the toes or of the feet. There's uh, patients who, you know, the destruction of the tissue is such that there's no way to restore the foot and you end up with an amputation. PAD is common in the elderly, patients with diabetes and hypertension, smokers, and those who are obese. In the past, a balloon or stent was about the only option available to surgeons for opening up those blocked arteries. Now, they have a few more tools to tackle the problem. As you might recall from a previous episode of Smart Medicine, the Silver Hawk plaque excision tool was a major advance in cardiovascular surgery. The Silver Hawk cut the plaque and takes it out of the body collects it in the, in the front of the device and, and you know when it's full so you come out, empty it and go back and clean if you have to clean some more. But there are times when arteries below the knee become clogged with calcified or hardened plaque that can be like a brick wall a surgeon has to bust through. For that job you need a tough tool, as tough as a diamond. The Diamondback 360 is a new procedure for treatment of vascular disease of the legs. It's diamond dust, you know, that is embedded in a, in a crown. And that crown is attached to a, to a wire. And that rotates. And it sands by rotating inside of the artery. And the particles that it creates, it's black that is uh, very small so it doesn't get stuck in the capillaries. It's just sanded into your body and it just goes on through the blood uh, like a, a microscopic particle. Just like this sandpaper, Diamondback 360 takes care of that hardened plaque and opens up those tiny arteries for normal blood flow. But Dr. Ilabaka cautions the device is not for every patient. If the plaque isn't calcified, it would be like trying to sand down a piece of fabric. That's why it's important for the surgical team at Baptist to have every option available for patients. I think you have to have it all. You know, it is not, it is in the best interest of the patient. You have to have the balloons, you have to have the wires, you have to have the silver hawk, and you have to have the diamondback. Because if you say, hey, I need a diamondback and, and I don't have it, then you're going to have to settle for second best. And, you know, that's not good for the patient. What is good for both patient and physician alike is awareness of how serious peripheral artery disease can be. Atherosclerosis is a very prominent disease in this community, um, in the Mid-South, in the South. The main thing is you need to be looking at your legs. You need to worry about the condition of your feet. If there's an infection or an ulcer, uh, a sore that doesn't heal, you know, you need to see a physician. With these latest medical advances, surgeons are no longer limited in treating PAD. In fact, there may be an option in the near future to utilize Diamondback in the treatment of coronary artery disease as well. A test is underway and physicians are hoping for results sometime next year. As you can see, all of these healthcare tools are proving to be worth their weight in gold. Uh, diamonds, that is. For Smart Medicine, I'm Rod Starnes.